Good morning, good morning. Today is the day of the surgery. Yes. And we are excited. We are asking for all prayers at this moment. Um, so this morning, last night, I had to wash all my sheets, had to wash all my clothes. They want you in freshly clean clothes for this process. And then once you take a shower, you got to use this, what kind of like a skin cleaner. So I had to use my skin cleaner, clean my body. First time I ever did a twist out, y'all, in years, because you guys know, I had to cut off all my hair. Um, there's no lotion, so I might look ashy. I also got to spend time with my kids this morning. Just tell them how much I love them and they mean the world to me, as well as my husband. But right now we're about to head, we're waiting for my brother. He's getting ready now. Uh, my dad's getting ready. My mom's gonna stay and watch the kids for us. And you know, we'll rotate. Mm -hmm. He'll come to my mom and back and forth, however they do. Um, but we have to be at the hospital by 6 a.m. So it's like four something in the morning now. It's almost five, so it'll almost be five. a few minutes. So we're going to be leaving. We're gonna head to the hospital and I'm gonna come home a brand new woman. now and these are this is my gown that I'm gonna be wearing I got my nice little purple <laughs> socks I got a little cap for my hair and I put my clothes and shoes in there we got an hour left before the surgery starts so as you can see in my clothes I got a fancy what is this what is this called no. robe whatever there's a heat machine right here and it blows heat see all this is big i'm not big chested but as you can see it puffs up it is nothing but heat love it then they put the iv in my arm so i'm all set for that i'm about to have my family and friends back here for a little bit got to you know spend some time with my dad and uh oh also this is supposed to protect my fitula see this is the fitula right here but I cover it up so no one tries to, you know, poke me in that arm. I'm excited. I'm also nervous. Um, but I'm just trying to keep my head right, you know, just trying to stay positive. I know they've done millions of these surgeries before um, with a good success rate. But sometimes you just can't help but think, you know. So I may a video that no one is going to see unless something happens to me. I left a video for my husband, my children, my mom, my dad, my brother, my aunt, my cousins. <laughs> it's just, it's been a journey and I'm grateful that someone cares about me enough to give me a piece of their life. Um, I'm going to come out on the other side and God has a plan. He has a plan. And I'm grateful that I didn't have to be on dialysis. Some people are on dialysis all eight years. Mine was just a couple of months. So I'm just happy that my brother was a match and he's able to give me life so I could spend more time with my babies. It's the countdown now. Mm -hmm. Honey, how do you feel about everything going on? Um, I feel good. Are you nervous or scared? Uh, I think by the doctors coming in and seeing certain things. 
Well, so make sure you're aware that they moved your surgery time to 9.30. Oh, okay. Okay, just because, you know, the, your brother just got into the lobby. Okay. The no problem. If anything changes, we'll keep you guys updated. Okay, okay. thank you. So how are you feeling? I mean, I feel good about the surgery. Everybody's confident. All the doctors are confident. They'd be like, yo, done did this a thousand times. So um, that gives me a level of confidence in the doctors themselves. Um, you know, God placed him here. God placed the proper people to take care of her. So um, it's just a matter of her coming out. Her brother coming out, both of them get through the surgery and a life-changing surgery at that. So, uh, looking forward to the other side of the surgery. Exactly. That's why I love him. All right. So, I am in my room. This is my room. Look around. <laughs> not, not too shabby. <laughs> um, so far, we came up here, they gave me, you know, more, I have my own pain pill button, I guess you could say. So I'm really, really drowsy. I'm really drowsy. I'm like falling asleep with myself. But what I thought was really nice is that you're not allowed to eat for 24 hours, but they give you these little um, disposable oral swabs. And you just put it into some water. Oh, here it is. Because, you know, you get that cotton now. So you put it in water and you just rub your mouth. And it just it helps drastically. Um, what else did they do in here? Got me some Vaseline. These lips get dry. Um, they had to slide me onto this. And I'm not going to lie, that was kind of painful um, to get onto the bed. I can't show you my incision now because I don't got no underwear on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what else happened? What else did you get? But she's producing a lot of um, oh, urine. Oh, lots of urine. They said I'm um, one right of the here. best ones that they've seen. And it's already full and Nobody they just change it. Well, the bag fills up quick every hour, like completely. They said that kidney was a great match. Obviously it is. We got the same DNA. We're, we're, we're the same. Oh, my dad's here. My dad's visiting. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that is the update. And we got some cable. So we're just going to sit here and rest. They don't want me to do anything. They just want me to rest and relax. Um, which is what I'm doing. And that's it for the night. Hey guys, so today is day two of the surgery. Um, I'm a little bit better, but I'm still in a lot of pain. I mean, where the cut is, you gotta think about it. You got cut sliced, go through your muscles, go through everything. So the healing process is definitely gonna take some time. Um, yesterday, my job was just to get to the chair. And I sat here for a while. And then I went back to my bed later on in the night. But last night was something different because I started having like spasms. <clears throat> so I had a cat, I have a catheter put in, but for some reason, like I would have a spasm and just like they give you like this bed, this um, bedding, and I would like pee that down nonstop, like every few minutes. Um, I was just getting spasms because you got to remember my bladder, my kidney, all of that wasn't really functioning well now it's functioning really good and it's producing lots of urine so it's just like my body trying to get used to it they came here and gave me like a little booklet it's just basically the aftercare of your transplant stuff that they may need me to write down so like my blood pressure my temperature all of this stuff they want me to keep track and when i go to the hospital because i have to come back um twice a week for um a couple of months or whatnot and for them to, you know, track what my blood pressure is doing, track what all the medications that they're giving me. Um, I cannot say I got like a ton. So like they give me a little sheet here called my med schedule. And I got to take this and some of this. And they tell me like either 9 a.m. to take it or 9 p.m. And I also got to get an injection. When I do come to the hospital, I will have to get it. It's called Bella. 
um, the nickname for it. And so I will have to get that injection. So because I'm going home and they don't want anything to happen, um, I have to take this, these medications with me. So they already ordered it. So I have that in my possession. Um, rejection meds. I got one, two, three, four rejection meds so I don't lose the kidney. I have a bacteria and a viral medication I have to take. Two blood pressure pills and some phosphorus. Because my kidney's producing so much, um, I need to take that so I can build it back up because I'm just peeing nonstop. And the last page is like um, pain meds. So Percocet, which for some odd reason makes me itch, like my whole body starts itching. So with that, I take my Benadryl. So she just get, bought me a Benadryl. So I'm gonna take that now. I mean, super pain when I move and just basically try not to miss no dosage anytime something happens I have a coordinator I need to call discuss anything they'll send me all my labs through the portal and um, right now it's just being comfortable and just relax take it one day at a time today was my first day back to eating solid foods and oh, it felt so good because I was starving. All I was eating was chicken broth and drinking water. Everybody keeps coming in my room every so often, all the doctors just giving me updates. I got to get blood work done every morning just to see what my levels are. So, I mean, that is my day two so far. Uh, my husband's going to come back. He went home last night. My son had a basketball game. So him and my dad went to that. So I am so grateful for him just giving me a piece of him just to give me back some life and I'll forever be thankful and I hope he knows that. Um, I think he might have been chickening out at the end, but he went through with it. You know, everybody's nervous. He's in a lot of pain as well, but he's doing good. Um, he's, shoot, he's already up and walking and more than I am, you know? And so we're all doing pretty good. So this is day two. Uh, all right, so today, it's gonna be my first day out the bed. So I have to walk. Cause they need me to, you know, get some circulation going. Got my little urine bag, my IV. So I'm just gonna go down the hall. Oh, it's painful. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go to my big brother. Let's go do the victory walk. His little name here. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh, are you sister? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me get out of here. So there he is in bed. Like he come to my place from all my lights. So I'm putting on his. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, I'm in pain. You in pain? Your blood pressure better than I. In the fever. In the fever? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Attention. Yep, he's doing good. This is a victory lap. This is the recovery lap now. Everybody watch. Turn around. <laughs> You ready? You ready? Uh-huh. Yes, go ahead. Go hold it, DJ. Hold it, hold it. You too. DJ, DJ, DJ you hold it. Wait, wait, wait. Let me fix you. Come over here, so baby. Come right over here and, and, and hug your sister like this. Come over here. And we will see. Yes, they will. Oh, come around. And then you come around. <laughs> hug your sister. Put your hand around him. Go on. There you go. Ready? There you go. One, oh, two, three. <laughs> so where's the smile? You know, it was smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great job, great job, guys. So today is my last day. I spent, spent a total of three days in the mm -hmm. hospital because I recovered very well. Yes, the scar still hurts, but 
we're managing. Um, it was definitely an experience. I was nervous, I was scared, um, because it's my brother um, giving it to me, so it was a lot of nerves. Um, a lot of expressions even the night before this surgery. It was nuts. <laughs> But we mm. did it, you know, the staff was amazing. We just got treated really good, I have to say that. We did, everybody was very catering, um, nice, understanding. Um, my husband, he swapped out with my mom so she could have some time with me through this process, which is what, you know, I, en I enjoyed having her around, it was nice. But I love okay, my husband. Okay, I, I was gonna ask her if she didn't enjoy what I did. did. Okay, okay. Now look at me, I'm not even holding him. Before I needed to hold him, I couldn't move that much, and now she's walking all by herself. See it? Oh, look, 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 look. Hola. Hola. There he is. So how you feeling? Good. Up and walking. It's good. Recovering well. He ain't backed up no more. Feeling stronger. It's definitely a story to be told. It is my story. Your they didn't he ain't take trying to let up? him go. He ain't discharged. That's what that means. <laughs> so, yeah, I ain't got nothing. So I'm the only one discharged at this point. First day. Getting too bad. Getting too bad. That's what he gave the hard medication. That Percocet. Percocet. After that, it started hurting. Because he wanted to be strong. He think he didn't need any meds. I need the meds. All it is is volatile. Look like you lost a little weight. Nah, I lost two pounds. I think I lost a little bit more than I got two pounds. Got on the scale right there. Let's go see how much I lost. Make sure you press pounds. Yeah. It's already off pounds. One oh six point three. I lost mega pounds before I came in here. I was one twenty. Oh, yeah. This is well, fully clothing on, and I lost that much weight. Oh, his girl was his best nurse. They all was good, but was none of them did what she did. Oh, well, thank you, Armani, for taking good care. Yeah. Oh, and those are for our feet for circulation. I used to put this on at night. I know, right? And just pump while you sleep, so you don't get you know blood clots. Massage your calves. We're gonna do one more as we leave our victory bell. Just tell my dad. So we're gonna go do that and then I'll go home. You're in pain. You feel in pain, aren't you? Yeah, down here. Yeah, it's home. You don't feel it. I feel it right now. I feel like I'm, it's burning. That's how it is. How, and you don't have, mine is from here to up here. Yeah, but I also have many holes inside of my body. How many? They couldn't get through? You have to bypass the fat. That's why like the muscle. I have many holes inside my body. Yeah, I got one big and one. One cut here, and then I got holes on the side. Yeah, it hurts. So that hurts. <laughs> All right, so we're doing our victory walk. Got my hubby here. Got my brother. I got Armani. I got my dad. This is his first time doing the walk with us. So we're gonna go up to the sta the station. We're going, we ringing the bell again? Yeah. yeah. We're gonna ring the bell as a whole. Cause my kidneys are good now. My creatine is perfect. Is it? Point six. Something like that. All right, so we over here by the bell. Showed them the bell. Georgia Transplant Recovery Lap Bell. This is just letting you know that your transplant is complete. And it's time for me to get well. I'm gonna ring the bell with my dad today. You ready? One, two, three. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's good. Yes, a proud moment. It is. Time to go home. Can't lift anything. Ready to go. Go home to my babies.